going on now? Happy Thursday, happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to the Dollar Hour. I am Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Short Dollar himself. We got an awesome show planned tonight, and this show I did because I have a lot of people that I know that are going through this situation, and many a times they don't know who to, you know, ask the right questions to. They may, you know, have a person here or there to give them advice, but it's not necessarily the right person. So I want to give some general advice to a common occurrence that happened in most of our lives, and that's how to uh, uh, purchase your first home. Again, tonight we're talking about how to purchase your first home, okay? So I'll give just general advice. Of course, of course, some things may be different between person to person, and uh, but overall, you know, I think it's gonna be a very informative show. Uh, before we get started, I wanna say what's up to my awesome producer, DJ Lab. What's going on, brother? Man, what's happening, man? We're another Thursday. Yes, sir, best day of the week. Freeze warning coming yeah. tonight. Really? <laughs> Yeah, make sure I keep them pipes dripping. Right. Also, we'll say what's up to my other producer, Slick316. What's up, Reek? And also, we got a special in studio guest, my baby boy, <laughs> Will B. What up, Will? I'm going to give you a quick housekeeper note, Will. You're going to be able to eat all that candy and make all that crackling noise the whole show. That's right. So, okay, so you need to be, be, be as discreet as, the, as possible, okay? Right. We would hate to kick you out of the studio at the beginning <laughs> of the show. But, yeah, no, I think we're going to have an awesome show. Because, again, I, it's, it's a lot of time people go through that occurrence of purchasing their first home. And I love seeing, you know, people when they've done it. You see a lot of times on social media, people have a picture of the key, they were the agent, mm -hmm. was doing it. But a lot of times people are in situations, they're glad to get it over with. Mm -hmm. But they walk away not necessarily knowing truly if they got a good deal, they did everything the right way or not. Uh, but they just know what the end result is. Mm -hmm. And so hopefully, uh, by looking at this show and by the end of the show, you have a better insight on some common things you need to make sure you're looking for in regards to that. Again, we're not going to be able to cover everything as far as, from, especially from a mathematical standpoint, certain rates and certain cost prices, things like that, but more so the procedure and process to go about when you're looking at getting your first home, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, again, I'm Deontay Burton, a.k.a. Mr. Shaw Dollar himself. This is the Dollar Hour. Uh, right now, we're streaming live on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, the main hub is the Mr. Short Dollar YouTube channel where we have over 400. Hell, I was just looking at it. It's 500 videos now. Yes. My brother been talking. You've been talking. Running my damn mouth. <laughs> that main hub is the Mr. Short Dollar YouTube channel. We have uh, t tons of information covering business operations, business management, business finance. We've got a grant playlist with over 150 grant opportunities on it. Um, regardless what platform that you are looking on right now, make sure you go to Mr. Short Dollar on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, and take advantage of all the great information that we currently have on the channel and all the great information we have coming down the pipe, okay? Make sure you go to that YouTube channel, okay? Um, real quick, I want to let you guys know we've been stuck at, I think we had 24,800 subscribers. Oh, 24,900. Oh, it might be 24.9 yeah, now. Yeah, 24.9. 24.9. Look here. Let's go and get that 25,000, hit yeah. that milestone. Right. So me, and, me and Larry will be here popping scotch and stuff next week. Okay, listen. For the years out. Man, man, uh, uh, I'm super excited. I appreciate our love and support. But, guys, if you uh, have not subscribed again to the YouTube channel, you're looking at one of the other platforms, go to Mr. Short Dollar on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. And please spread the word about it. We've had a tremendous growth over the past uh, year and a half, two years, because you guys love and support. So, man, I really appreciate every, all the support you guys have given us. And hopefully we can continue you know, giving you uh, great information to help you along your uh, personal, individual, and uh, business financial journey, okay? But, again, tonight we're talking about how to purchase your first home, okay? This, this is one thing I want to talk about. You know, one of the things I... Uh, I think people, when they look at home ownership, because you got tons of videos in regards to home ownership. You know, people sometimes say, should I rent, should I buy, or whatever. And that's a very um, uh, tough decision. A lot of times people come to, I mean, you see all the videos, people like fix uh -huh. or flip, or want to be investors, all that bull. But, but, but you know, when you want to look at this is my personal home, I want to own this, I want to get a mortgage, get my deed and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's kind of, you, you got to shake them shake them cobwebs off, and, you know, get that little courage with doing it, or, you know, just saying, hey, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to make that move, and it's a very, very proud moment. No matter how young or how old you are, when you get to uh, uh, the opportunity mm -hmm. to do it. Anytime you, got, you get the opportunity to do it, 
it's a it, it's a great uh a great opportunity. Hey, real quick too, man. Uh, I want to say because I just thought about what uh, Dewan did the other night. Uh, uh, um, shout out to my man Dorikas Glass. Me and Dorikas went to elementary and uh, high school together, man. He's a real, real solid brother, man. Rest in peace to uh, Dorik, man, and a uh, real, real cool dude. And like I said, man, we went all through high school, elementary and high school together. Real solid brother, man. I hate it happen. It actually scared the shit out of me because anytime you start hearing about people your age mm-hmm. passing, you're like, what the hell? You know, right. let me do about five more minutes on this treadmill. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, right. and, and, and again, that's just, you know, pride of knowing what happened and everything like that. But it just scares you sometimes when you hear like, damn, man, look, you know, we, even as we get older, we just had this like a mortal sense. Well, doing that, man, that was a, Rick's a good guy, man. He's a real good guy, real solid dude. Mm-hmm. I can't see him even having enemies. Uh-huh. So it really uh, affects it. A lot of people, oh, you know. He's okay. one of them kind of brothers, man. And uh, yeah, I heard uh, I, I, all the posts I saw about him. Everybody from the West Side, they guess how nice he, how nice, good of a dude he was. So I don't, I didn't know him personally, yeah. but I, I can't, I can't say that you know having all those people post about you and having nothing but good things say about you can be can be false, right? Yeah, yeah. So no. rest in peace. Yeah, the real solid dude, man. But rest in peace, man. Uh, uh with that. Um, but yeah, man, that, that that shook me, man. I uh, uh, I just wanted to say that. Also, man, shout out to Dewan, man, with that West Side story, right, man. Right. I, <laughs> man, good show, brother. <laughs> wow, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. Damn, he look like having that Netflix series. <laughs> that was a good show, man. I'm proud of, man. Good show, man. And a uh, 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 big shout out to uh, my whole Misfits Radio, Misfits TV family, man. Everybody doing a lot of good work and everything, yeah, so I'm yeah. proud of everybody. We're trying I'm to bring the, the podcast uh, from our perspective with not as much mess, a lot of a little knowledge, a little, you know, we have a little fun too, but we trying to do things a little bit different, see yeah. what happens, you know. Yeah, man, no, nah, man, that, yeah, that was a that was a good show, man, good good opening show, man. I look forward to seeing more of it, uh, uh, more of it uh, later on down the road and stuff. But again, man, tonight we're going to talk about how to do your first home uh, purchase, okay? Because a lot of people, you know, again, when you decide to make that uh, that move, you know, you talk to people a lot of times. But here's the funky part about that, right? Is that a lot of times when you talk to people, people don't uh, have a, I think, uh, the foresight to understand. Because you really going to give out, you're just going to pretty much, for the most part, say, I'm looking to buy a house. Mm-hmm. But you really don't tell people your whole situation mm, mm. and so people give you holistic or uh, well not holistic specific advice to what they did right you know and everything of their situation and what happens a lot of times it's just like for somebody to buy a car or whatever you know it might be some screwy parts of the deal they're never going to tell you that part you mm-hmm. know i just got it for this it's a good deal they'll tell you all the pros they're going to tell you the cons you know, yeah the cons and the bad stuff they did because mm-hmm. excuse me you didn't have that much put down your credit wasn't this that and that they had to make some adjustments here and there mm-hmm. with doing it but what I want to do is just again have, give people insight in regards to, you know, things you'd be looking at, uh, at doing from a step-by-step process mm-hmm. with, you know, doing your first home purchase. Mm-hmm. Okay, so number one, when you sit there and say, well, listen, I want to go across that, you know, go down that road. I want to do, you know, buy my own house. The first thing I want I tell people to do, this is the first thing, listen, this is what Mr. Short Dollar does. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is what I did from the first one and over the years with different things, different purchases and refinances I've done. This is pretty much my process to do, okay. right? It, 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 we're, we're doing it. Sometimes when you start looking at things with them from an investment property standpoint, that's different because you put in another factor. We just talking about your first home purchase, and even if you're looking at doing a refinance or doing another home purchase, hopefully you know we can give you some uh, advice and insight things to do with that. But the first thing I tell people is go. Uh, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Lady Line loves. La- Line Lady loves says that she is purchasing her first home. Uh, She's purchasing. She said she didn't want to say anything, but she's in the process right now of purchasing again in three years. Thanks for the new topic. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, congrats. What you talking about, uh, Lion Lady Love? Because <laughs> she was like, I thought I saw a comment, and in, in, I thought I saw some in the comment section. So I want to make sure we're not ignoring you. We okay. just, you know, as a matter of fact, a little house cleaning. Instagram is 10 to 15 seconds slower when you write the comments than what we see so we may be on a whole nother topic topic by the time you get to the the comments typed up so we're not ignoring you we may have not seen it or been on we have me on another topic so just 
Okay, go ahead, Pooch. No, I'm sorry. Get to it. I think it froze, man. I think it froze. Uh, nah, I just hopped in now. <laughs> okay, you know, I don't see me moving there. Okay, but yeah, now, nah, uh, no, but I, uh, congratulations on that uh, uh, with your home purchase and stuff. And hopefully, it'll be giving some extra insight, uh, depending on where you're at in the process. But the first thing I tell people to do is go is a pre-approval process. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, have you know, have the discussion with a broker or a banker. Let them know your situation. You know, you know, you're thinking about purchasing a home. Hey, listen, this is what I want to do. You know, majority of them are going to want to do what? Run your credit. But just go talk to a banker, uh, a broker, uh, and just say, hey, this is what I'm trying to do. You know, they get that basic information. Um, and, and here's the thing about it. Make sure this is something you want to do because when you got people start running your credit, you know how they can have some kind of impact when they start running those inquiries on you. I, I recommend if you already have a relationship with a bank, use your bank. If not, you can go meet, uh, meet with a broker. And a broker, a mortgage broker, is pretty much just, <clears throat> the same thing is just like going to the bank, but they just have a bigger pool. They might have a bigger pool of products, of uh, different loan products than, you know, maybe your traditional uh, bank uh, bank have. Their price may be a little bit, maybe a point or two higher mm -hmm. than if you're dealing with a bank, because remember what banks are regulated. Uh, but again, if it's you look like a little smoother, uh, or they have maybe a little bit more accommodating than a bank would be. They mm, mean okay. that better, but again, it's just they have a, a, a wider selection of products if you go to actual mortgage broker as opposed to go to a bank. Okay. But it had a conversation with, with, with all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, get, uh, go through the pre-approval process, let them know what's going on. You know, they may say, hey, listen, you're good, you're approved for this, or they may say, hey, listen, we can't do anything right now because your credit score is this, your debt income, which is your, the amount of debt you have divided by your monthly income, and they're looking at that certain percentage to see, okay, can this person be able to pay uh, pay the mortgage in relation to the debt payments they're already paying mm -hmm. and uh, uh, with the income they have coming in? Okay. okay. Well, let me ask you a question, and I, I think um, Lion Lady Love has this question too. So do you think we should have the money up first before we even start looking at the house so we have our money first? I, I definitely uh, think so. Because I, I just, I didn't see it in the, I didn't, in the itinerary, so I wanted to make sure I wasn't asking the question that you are going to answer later yeah, on. Yeah, you, So we should have our money first and then go look for the house because we already know what we got. That's definitely my recommendation. Okay. okay. Only, only, you, only way you don't do that, if you know without a shadow of a doubt that you have a, a credit established, you can just walk in the way you just okay. can get approved for whatever you want. Okay. But you're not knowing, you're assuming. Hell no, you find out how much money you can deal with first. Okay, okay. Because the okay. worst thing you want to do, the worst thing you want to do is walk around, find it, high. Find it fall in love, <laughs> and find out you can't get it. It's nothing like finding a $200,000 house and like, yeah, this is the one. And they be like, well, we only can give you 99000 So Yeah. Yeah. And it happens all the time. Okay. okay. It happens all the time. And, and, and listen, guys, I'm going to tell you this. This is the same process I do when I buy cars. Mm. I go get pre-approved first. And, and, and listen, I understand, you know, uh, you may be not putting the car situation may be a little different because it may be easier for you to just, you know, uh, you may not have that option to go get prepared for you rather than say, Lord, let me go to the dealership and do it. But I will say this, uh, the dealer is always going to try to beat, if you go in pre-approved with uh, uh, going to a dealer, they're going to beat the rate you came in at with. So, mm -hmm. that's, but that's another show. We're gonna okay. do. We'll talk they, about that later. That's the next short dollar show. <laughs> but but with that said, yeah, go get pre-approved. Had a conversation, and uh, when they run your numbers, you know, to uh, 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 to see what you qualify for, find out. They say, hey, listen, you might need to come back and do do A, B, C, D, F, and G. And again, you can talk to more than one person, right? Mm -hmm. One may deny you. Another person may say, hey, we will give you something. But then from that point. Uh, we say sign a contract first is not a is not a good thing. You're not signing a the contract. They just run. They just uh, uh, seeing what you're pre-approved for. Mm. You know that's the thing about it. We want to see what we're dealing with because at the end of the day, you know, you probably not. It, well, it's not. Pro it, it's not the wisest thing to do to go looking for something you don't know if you can get it or not. Mm. So when you the pre-approval process, they're going to tell you what you're approved for up to. Up to two hundred fifty thousand, up to three hundred fifty thousand. You don't have to make a purchase for that dollar amount, but you know what you're working with. Okay. Now again, once they um, uh, do, uh, and this is pre-approval, so again, they're not necessarily going to go to in, in depth when we start looking at more of some of the uh, uh, the whole loan process where we're doing it in regards to verifying things for the income, things like that. They're getting your basic information, mm -hmm. running your credit, taking mostly I would say your word uh, with things. Mm -hmm. So it behooves you to tell the truth because at the end of the day, you're going to, it's going to have to get documented and proved anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So with that said, 
Uh, what do you mean with a builder? No, no, no. I'm just saying, period. What, uh, she said what I meant was with the builder. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah. But 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 the thing of it is, I will say, just try to go through the peer approval uh, process first. Mm -hmm. And if at that point we know, okay, this is what we can start. We have up to this amount. Mm -hmm. Just because you got approval of the three hundred fifty thousand, that doesn't mean you have to get a three hundred fifty thousand dollar loan. You can get your hundred thousand dollar house. You can get a two hundred thousand dollar house. But you know, the max you can get. Okay. And you can talk to more than one per more than one lender or mm -hmm. more than one broker. You're not stuck with that. Mm -hmm. But find out where you're at, you know, with, with everything. Uh, it may be situations where, you know, it may be a drastic difference from, from uh, lender to lender. Mm -hmm. I, usually it's not. It could be differences, but now you're a big one will offer you, you know, 50000 and another will offer you 200000 That usually doesn't happen. They, okay. But it may be... From, one is off you 100, one is off you 150, you know, something right, like that. Right, so right. it may be somewhere in that, in that, in that, in that and even that 150, maybe, that 50,000 may be stretching it. But again, you at least got you some kind of starting point and you also got some kind of cap mm. where you know we're, we're doing that. And then from that point, now we can start making moves because we know what, what we got to work with. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. And then from that point, you know, you, 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 you can look around and start looking like, okay, now this is what, the max I can do in regards to how much uh, I can uh, work with, with 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 doing certain things, you know, because you you can do a plug and play mm -hmm. with a lot of mortgage calculators to to find out exactly what your monthly payments are and everything like that. Once you start going through the process, right? So listen, we went, talked to a bank or talked to a broker, did the initial application with that. They ran our stuff. This is what you pre-approved for. We got that. The next part, when we start talking about how to purchase your first home, now we start looking for an agent. Mm -hmm. The thing you gotta ask yourself too when you start looking for an agent. Now again, some people may do get an agent first and we'll do it. Uh, I, this is the way I would do it. I'm not saying anything wrong as far as getting an agent first, but at the end of the day, um, you got an agent without the money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, 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 I'm gonna say this, an agent is gonna be just like you. They working on commission, right? Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, the agent only got four Saturdays in a month, mm -hmm. four Sundays in a month, right? Mm -hmm. So many days in a week, right? So when they're spending time with you, riding around showing houses, they need to know that you got access to some money. Right. So at the end of the day, you might well do what first? Find money. out what you got. Right, right. Because they're gonna vet you just like you vet them, mm -hmm. you know? That's an amateur agent that's going to drive around and don't even know if you got any money, mm -hmm. right? right? That's somebody, that, you know, but somebody sees it, which is what you want. Now, I understand it's your friend, it's your husband, that you got that. I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> but just from a common sense standpoint, who's going to take you around without knowing what you can do? Right. Makes sense. Right, it makes sense. You know, they may see some emails and put you on a, a email list, mm -hmm. you know, because I get that, you know, for, you know, agents, uh, 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 sending things uh, in and uh, to you, that, you know, these prospective homes mm -hmm. we're doing it. But again, you, you want to make sure when we start looking at hiring an agent or if you want to, you know, the other part, do it yourself. You have your red doors, your Zillows and mm -hmm. stuff like that now. But you got to be realistic about your experience to know what you know and what you don't know and how comfortable you are with doing it. Yeah. You know? Well, with the agent, though, I, and I only ran into this part when I was, when, when uh, Rink was trying to buy our house. She, she was finding all the houses, and it seemed like she was finding the houses and telling the agent what house she wanted to see, and that house could be on the market for six months. And then all of a sudden, they got 20 bids on it after she didn't told the agent. So we was like, is this agent giving our houses up, giving her, her houses up to other people to, you know, so to bid on? Because it was just awful strange that the house would be on the market for a year. Then all of a sudden, when she said, well, I want to go look at this house, it's 20 bids on it or 10 bids on it. It was just... It was just weird like that, it, and and it was on every house she, she she gave the agent to look at. You know what I mean? So that's why I think that sometimes people deal with their fam family members because they feel like the agents be shady a little bit. I'm not saying they are, but that that was the experience I had. I mean, like every house Rika looked for and saw and told him about, seemed like there was always nothing going on with the house. Cause we go look at it first, and then after we tell the agent, it was 15 bids on. It. Well, that's possible, but the flip yeah. side of it is you got the same situation with a family member that's aging. Mm. See, the thing of it is we got to you, you be realistic. We got, we got people we love, we got people we care about, but it, it's a, a, a 
when we start talking about making any kind of major dollar purchase, you want to make sure folks got some kind of experience. Mm -hmm. You're real talk. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, a person can be out of that dog pulling out stuff for you, but at the end, if, if they don't have, if they're not able to uh, give you sound advice on the process of things like that, you know, you can be steered in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I understand that aspect, like, hey, listen, I'm doing all the work, what I need you for, I get it. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, that's why I think you had a lot of people that have went, you know, over the past couple of years to using the, what is it, the Red Door, mm -hmm. the uh, even Zillow and stuff like that. Yeah. I just find that, you know, we're doing it. The flip side of it is, uh, there are some things in the negotiating part, especially when we start talking about negotiating, leveraging things out, that you just ain't savvy with, we're doing mm -hmm. it. You know, that's, that's the thing about it, it's just like, Pretty much anybody can do anything, right? It means you can sit down and we can probably get some manuals. We can actually put a damn motor in the car. But this is shit we're going to miss because, again, we don't have experience size. We're doing it unless we grow up, grew up doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So, but again, that's a, that's a you thing mm -hmm. in regards to what you want to do, you know. But here's the, okay, you got to be okay with your decision, but don't make a decision real off cost. What I mean by cost, sometimes people get caught up with They got a commission. They got to get paid. Yeah, everybody got to get paid. But I wouldn't be damn so worried about, because now again, as a buyer, you really don't have no cost except probably the inspection. Mm -hmm. The seller's going to pick up most of the cost in the process. But on the flip side of it is, when we start looking at it, it's like, look, man, at the end of the day, do you trust yourself with, with missing something? Mm -hmm. And you say, well, look, the agent may miss it, but that's, that's the whole point we're talking about, vetting. You want to do some kind of vetting. We can't be so stuck on wanting the house so bad that we miss out on certain right. things. You know what I'm saying? What you yeah. about to say, Lane? Uh, Late, uh, line lady love says there used to be a time when the, when you put a contract on the house it takes it off the market but that doesn't happen anymore is that what you experience no you look you, you look, if the contract it should be off it, it should be saying it's on the contract because uh -huh. you, if you especially you don't put some kind of earnest money up oh uh, okay you don't put some kind of earnest money up they so can't I, you know they they, they uh, uh i don't think legally they can do that uh, okay now now uh, uh especially if my, if my money down mm -hmm. you know because now we got so so much time before we can start the whole mm -hmm. uh process of doing it uh, that's typically like that. I don't think you can do that then because I got money down. Okay. okay. Uh, we're doing it. It should be uh, listed in that, hey, listen, it's under contract. But I, uh, I can't see, well, if I got my money on there, uh, we're doing it. But you know, you just got so, I don't, I don't know if it's five days, ten days, or whatever from that mm -hmm. point to get it. We got to get the process started. But okay. I don't know about that, you know, we're doing it. But, you know, bidding on that, that's, that's, that's a little different in regards to, to doing it. But once it's on the contract, it's on the contract. Okay. Um, uh, we're doing it, but you know that process from that point is uh, you got so, so long to do it. But that's the whole thing about. Again, we start talking about you have an agent, somebody versed enough to be explained to you. Hey, listen, if you put this down, this is what we get. If you don't do this, we wait too long for this. What we doing? You know, just have them kind of conversation because again, just like you vetting them, they vetting you too. Because so, so the agent can talk about certain things and gets maybe getting a little bit off the price. It's like I'm just throwing out something you know, see a little rust somewhere. You know how they, you know, you know that right there may need to be replaced. Uh, water heater may need to be replaced. We may need to get a five, six hundred dollars. You know, just, I'm just throwing out a price, but you know how to work it to where, so you think an agent is better because they may know how to work out certain deals as far as the house is concerned to where the price may be better for you. Well, I'm a big proponent of let agents talk, let accountants talk, let lawyers talk. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, that's I'm just a, I'm just a big proponent. That don't mean I'm right with that. Right. But I'm just let let the people that do it let them negotiate. Okay. So they can have a conversation because they're speaking the same language. Mm. You know, because if you don't speak that language, you know, a lot of times people talk over your damn head and you and damn know it. Right. Like, okay, man, it was a good deal. Man, I, I remember I ain't gonna say who they a family member. They don't want to the buy here, pay here a lot. Came in my house with a chest poked out. <laughs> man, I got a real good deal. Right. And they were telling me the terms. I said, man, that's an effed up deal, man. Right. What you mean? Well, the man told me I could do this, that, and come back in six months. I said, man, they tell everybody that, boys. Right. You know? <laughs> and, and a lot of times people uh, 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 people uh, 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 deal with folks because, again, you look, they feel like I don't want to deal with that, the cost. I can do this myself. Mm -hmm. We all feel like this. Me, too. Mm -hmm. That when we have some kind of success in life, and I'm just saying in general, that we smarter than what we are. Mm -hmm. And again, like, you know, sometimes you want to let the people that do that, do that. Yeah, okay. But the key thing is, it's not just getting the agent because they're a damn agent. It's getting somebody that you feel, okay, cool, I'm comfortable, they know what they're doing. That's why I say the whole thing is that sometimes with family members, uh, we let trust, you know, because I trust you, mm -hmm. don't make you more competent. 
You okay. feel what I'm saying? Yeah, what you said. Just because you're comfortable doesn't necessarily mean that that person knows what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comfortable, yeah. comfortable. Uh, you being comfortable with a person should be uh, confusing with competency. Okay. You know, just because you know I'm cool with you <laughs> and I trust you, that don't mean you, don't know, mean you know what the hell you're doing. doing. Okay. You feel me? I got you. I got you. I got and you got to make sure, you know. And, and, and let me tell you something, man. I remember, man. Matter of fact, um, my house I'm at, it was about 18, 18, 19 years. But I remember a buddy of mine. Mm -hmm. His, uh, she was his girlfriend and his wife now. She had got just got an agent. Same thing with you saying what, what we were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we were looking for the houses, and then she said, she told, she told us, well, just look around, and if y'all see something, give me a call. Mm -hmm. Well, hell, if we doing that, I don't know what the hell we need you for. To get in. Exactly. So what I did was we found a whole other agent. Mm -hmm. Man, solid sister. Mm -hmm. He's able to, you know, give us ins and outs, things we weren't looking for, da-da-da-da, we're doing it. My buddy... We, we, they were actually one of our tax clients for at least damn four years. Uh -huh. They got sour, never came back to us. Oh, wow. Never came back to us. That's over 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, But at the end of the day, I'm glad I did what I did because she wasn't experienced enough to help me okay. with what I did, okay. what I was trying to do. Okay. You know what doing? She clearly wasn't, man. She wasn't trying to, you know, you telling me to go do it and I call you. What the, f what the <laughs> hell? What I need you for? Yeah, exactly. To turn the key. Exactly. That was it. So that's what, that's what Rico was doing. Well, well, see, here the thing. I trusted them. Okay. But she definitely wasn't competent enough. Mm -hmm. You know, do I think she would have did anything to get over on me? Or me? I, I didn't feel that. Mm -hmm. But clearly, she could probably she would have made some. I you know what I'm saying she would have. But it was possible she could have made mistakes because she wasn't competent enough. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened a lot of times we did with family members and friends. Now, if you got somebody, a family member, friends you close that you can vet, because I ain't tripping. When I first started my business, she, we, we probably went probably about six, seven years before we did a lot of family members. Okay. You okay. know, people might be looking from the sideline, might not necessarily want us to know their business and stuff right, like that. Right. I get it. Didn't take right. it personal, anything like that. But that's the kind of thing a lot of times people may do. Maybe kind of look at you from the sideline because this is something major. Right. We ain't talking no damn gift basket or, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. You know, you, <laughs> Go Valentine's Day baskets and now this is a straight business. Yeah, exactly. Get me in jail, we don't it, do this right. Exactly. Right, okay, okay. Well, have my ass homeless, you know. <laughs> right. And so right. so I never I never took it personal. But you really need to make sure you spend a lot of time with doing it. Now, if you say, look, I want to do it myself, you understand, like, look, you know, be, 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 it, 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 if you feel like you got an aptitude and you're competent enough to do it, great. But, you know, listen to what I'm saying again. Make sure you can, cause you know this is not going out there buying the wrong damn bucket of paint. This is actually this is a 15, 20, 30, 40 year commitment mm -hmm. that you could be like, man, I ain't know they were gonna have this. I ain't know they had a damn retention pool, a retention pond, uh, uh, 300 feet from my house. Now I got snakes all in my damn yard. You know, I hear a jet it was screaming all over my head. Uh -huh. I remember one time when I was looking for a house. I'm just thinking about it. this was shit over 20 years ago. It was one of those uh, uh, power lines. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew that what they, they they were saying it was it was in the next door neighbor's yard. Okay. Big old damn power line. But like the agent was telling us, she said, "No, man, you know you might be at risk of cancer or something like that. May not have been, but just somebody just to mention it. Right. To us, we looked because the house was like, I love the house. Right. Looking at it, but even though that it was inside the next door neighbor's yard, when the guy know, I think they they give people now well that stuff in your property. Those little power companies will pay you mm -hmm. uh, a rental fee to run it in your yard and stuff like that. But it still was just right there, you know, super close proximity of my, uh, uh, potentially my home. Uh -huh. But just have somebody tell you, no, nah, man, you know, you know, don't do that because of that. I need to hear that because I damn sure wasn't thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of thing. You, you know what you know. And sometimes you may want to get some more, more experienced set of eyes, ears, and brain. To look over the stuff with us. Okay? It's not buffering on this end, y'all. I don't know what y'all talking about. It's I have my phone up. I have my. There, there's no buffering going on. I'm sorry. I I, I don't know what to fix because there's not buffering. I think it's moving at regular speed now. It oh, was, okay. It was a little bit on TV. Uh, uh, oh, buffering more, a lot a for bit. Yeah, but it's good. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Now. Well, it's fixed now. Hopefully, it'll stay that way. I apologize. Okay, keep it's going. Cool. <laughs> but you know, and, and once you get through that, the whole part where you decide on the age and decide what kind of process you go. Now you can kind of look at, you know, your preferences. Again, tonight we're talking about how to purchase your first home. We went through the whole first step of the pre-approval process to see how much you can get. Now we're at that whole point of saying, okay, uh, then you decide on your age, you know, if you're going to do it yourself. The next thing we kind of say, like, look, now we can kind of hammer in our preferences. 
Well, say preferences, we're talking about, you know, location, what, you know, what area you're thinking about. You may have two or three different places you're thinking about, the style of the house, maybe ranch, two-story, you know, what size yard, you know, brick, all that kind of stuff, pool, basement, all that kind of stuff. We, we start hammering that stuff out, and most importantly, price. Mm -hmm. We start getting all that kind of stuff together, because here's the deal. When you start thinking about that, that's what we start, you know, in, in, in correlation to what we bring to the table in regards to uh, 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 max funding. Mm -hmm. Now we can start putting stuff, you know, together. Then okay. you can get that information to your agent, or if you're doing it yourself, you can start your searches and stuff. You know, I know if I'm going to this county, this city, this school district, you know, I want it on this area of town. All that kind of stuff can be set up. So now you can start looking at four-sided bricks, basement, things like that. Mm -hmm. And then from that point, we can look at uh, we're doing it. That's one of the other pros I, I say again sometimes we're using an agent. They have that whole MLS system. And, and again, some things may be listed. Some things, you know, uh, 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 they can do a better job. A lot now, again, we're talking about experience. Right? We're okay. talking about somebody just... Just regular. Just regular with doing it. Okay. Because, again, yeah, you can do just regular, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and when, when you have somebody that can go through it and, and scout through it, they can help you out with, with that information. Mm -hmm. And so now you start saying, okay, now I got, you know, you know, 10 options I can look at. You know, these houses are, you know, none of them under contract. I can start looking at them. You know, you and your agent may ride, you know, you may ride by, they go over there with you. You can start looking at it, right? Mm -hmm. So now we done kind of got that preference together. What I'm looking for, what I'm trying to have established. And now we starting, you know, put everything in fruition uh, with everything we're doing that we train it. But, uh... You can't call me right now. You know my phone at the top. Uh, <laughs> I don't... All right, go ahead. That's one of the things, you know, when we're starting to put everything together. When we start looking at, okay, what's, what's feasible, what isn't feasible. And, 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 and in this part of it, when we start doing it, I, I think this is probably where, you know, a lot of times, you know, you know, with a rubber meeting the road, where we're saying, okay, now um, uh, we, can, we, can, we can hammer out, you know, what's possible, what's not possible. Because I remember when I was looking at, you know, with my crib, I wanted a four-sided brick with a basement mm -hmm. and a big yard. Uh, I could only find my house is, is front-sided brick, big yard, no basement. Okay. You know, so that, you know, just kind of just putting that out. Because what you want, you got what you want, then you got what reality and what's available. And once you start kind of going through that, that's when you can, you know, start kind of meshing it out. You can sit there and wait. Well, look, <clears throat> if I, you know, if I can't find, you know, what I'm looking for, I just wait. You got that option. Right. But again, you got what you want and you got what's available. But from that point, that's where you start going through that whole process of, of seeing uh, uh, what's available to you. The next step, once we done went through the preferences, is the math part. Guys, this is the part I think people really, really skip and they wait for everybody else to kind of lay, lay everything down. I'm a very, very big uh, a proponent of making sure that people are as proactive as possible. Mm -hmm. We're at a point right now, and you know, from, from, from a data informational standpoint, you can find out every damn thing you want just like that. Real, real. You have a gazillion online mortgage calculators they can pinpoint everything for you. And you could be, if not spot on, what the mortgage company is gonna bring back to you, you right there in the damn neighborhood. Because you can, for, you can, you can call and get quotes. Uh, you can call and get quotes in regards to uh, how much you'll be able to get with uh, uh, insurance quotes. Mm -hmm. You can look at you know, uh, property tax information for that particular house from uh, past. Um, you can put in different rates. You know what a rate, you know, you, 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 uh, if a, a lender give you a pre-approval, they can say you're locked in at this rate, you know, between here and here. Mm -hmm. You can go at the max one and say, hey, listen, this is probably the highest I can get. And then way you have worst case scenarios. And you can find out HOA, all this stuff, a lot of stuff is perfect, uh, 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 I'm sorry, public information to you. You can find that out, plug and play with any online mortgage calculator and get what you can and see, okay, this is what I can afford. Okay. A lot of times, people don't want to do that. Cause what we, what we say all the time, once once I know I'm accountable for it, mm -hmm. you ain't got to wait for nobody. nobody. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to wait for nobody to tell you what you got to make it your uh, your monthly payment. So if I'm sitting here saying like, look, if I can go and get a, if I'm getting a two hundred fifty thousand dollar loan on that house, all right, I can go into property tax records. Okay, I know the uh, property tax on the house is twenty five hundred. I can look and see, you know, potential. You know, I call the insurance company, get a potential quote for the insurance to be. 
I can plug everything in. Mm -hmm. Everything's right there, plug and play. Put the rate in, put that in on a 20, 30, 40 year mortgage. I'm, all this data is in front of me now. Okay. I don't have to wait on anybody. And guys, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, do not put yourself in a situation where you're waiting on everybody. You can, be, you can make things move a whole lot faster with that. Hell, you can even do this step before you even get the agent because you already know right then and now what you can and can't afford, mm -hmm. right? So now we're sitting there looking, like I said, the math is so important. Very. So important. Very. Because if you, because once you, the, the, the thing we don't want to get back into again, we start talking about because the, 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 the mortgage company gave you this, you found something that you could afford uh, for that house amount in regards to the, uh, uh, what you was approved for mm -hmm. from the agent. And then you get that uh, monthly payment you like, sheesh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why put yourself in that situation? Now, what I will get is tidbit, and this is one, you know, one of my mentors told me, and I thought it was pr pretty good information, right? He said to me, because I was so stuck on uh, what I could afford right then and there. His whole thing was, and I thought it was pretty sound advice, don't be so afraid to be a, a little uncomfortable the first five years with your note. He ain't saying, like, go broke with it, mm -hmm. but don't be so opposed to being a little uncomfortable because it, as you are, pro you know you're progressing in life, you know, that mortgage that you got today, five years from now, may not be that difficult. Okay. Or maybe a little easier because, what, you're progressing, mm -hmm. right? Now, I ain't saying you still can afford it, but it might be a little tighter. You okay. know what I'm saying? Okay. You might, you know, you might can't take out every weekend <laughs> Might just take out once or twice else, so. <laughs> right but she got her house right okay 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 um the um lady line say you can have a better relationship with your loan officer and your loan processor is that possible to get a relationship with them too i mean at the end of the day the 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 the, the, the loan processor you know you can talk to them the loan officer keep, keep this in mind that's a good question um they don't get paid unless the sale is made. Okay. They don't get paid unless the sale is made, mm -hmm. because the loan the loan officer, if the process is getting everything together, the loan officer and they're gonna send it to the person that you probably had the least relationship with. Mm -hmm. and that's the underwriter. Okay. The underwriter gonna vet everything, make sure that DTI, all the stuff they're gonna look at the mail, they're gonna make sure all the documents, supporting docs, and everything together. So even though you might have a loan. The, the relationships you may have, now they may do a little more hustling and bustling, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, if they don't have a solid relationship with an underwriter, it ain't gonna make no difference anyway. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know, because the underwriter is, you know, and, and the underwriter may be outsourced, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of the day. Right. Because they still gonna look at the docs and everything with doing it. The, uh, I, I'm not a big proponent of just thinking, okay, these people gonna help you. These people, they working just like you working. And they get a commission. They not giving you they damn money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right, you know, it, right. that's the thing about it. A lot of times they get caught up. Well, I'm trying to help you. You ain't helping me. Because if it don't go through, your ass ain't getting paid either. Right. I ain't going to get my damn house. Right. And you ain't getting no damn money. Okay? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just more a big proponent. Just have your stuff together. Uh -huh. So if you go to this person, that person, or that person. Look, we ain't even got to talk. Uh -huh. We ain't even got to talk. When we make rush moves, we get what? Rush results. Right. That we missed this, we missed that. Damn, ain't no, I could have got a rate cheaper. Man, ain't no, I could have had this. I ain't no, I could have had that. That's why I said take your time. That's why I want to have a show so we can have these conversations in regards to that. Mm -hmm. Because so many times that stuff get uh, missed or, 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 or un you know, probably uninformed with certain things, right? Mm -hmm. But that's what I'm saying. Like, even though even you deal with the, the, uh, the actual broker, the lender, uh, you know, they, they can, you know, it's just like, you know, they, it's just like you want to the car dealership. Right. They got like, I'm, you know, they doing you so much. Your ass don't have that much pull. <laughs> you really, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, no. you know, you got to the dealership, man, I'm trying to work this for you. Your ass, man, like, man. You, you have nothing to do with this. <laughs> you have nothing to do it's with it. It's up to it. the bank now. Yeah, to, yeah, 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 yeah. I need to go in there and probably finesse the damn <laughs> loan <laughs> law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but they ain't going to do that with that. You know, you, you, you dig what I'm saying? Right, and even right. when they start going to the, uh, the the loan officer, again, they're still it's still going to go to someone else. Mm -hmm. And really, you know, the underwriter is the one that's going to just... Say yes or no. Yes or no. Right. You know, and, 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 and a lot of times, that's not somebody's in-house. 
Mm. That's not oh, somebody in house, you yeah. know. So they actually dealing with, you know, they contracted out underwriting companies. So again, they may have like, cool man, I know Scott over there, man, and you know, mm. bro, look, can we can, you know, what do you, you know, they may can say, well, look, Scott, what do you need to see? Mm -hmm. What do you need to see for this to, uh, you know, they, you know, as far as that? But typically, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't necessarily know if it'll make things better for you if you got a relationship with them, you know, mm -hmm. you know. Okay. Well, that, don't forget to mention that you know, all you have to do is have a 640 and up person. Well, that just depends. The, as far as the, the 640 and up, the, as far as the numbers, I'm going to say this. It can vary from lender to lender. Because okay. that, that's why I go back to saying again that, you know, we start uh, mentioning credits, credit scores, uh, collateral, uh, things you may have. Uh, the lower the scope may be possibly the higher the rate. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's why I'm saying, like, that's why we want to make sure that we try to be as savvy as possible by the process. When we start looking at, well, hey, this is all you need, you know, sometimes I can get you in, and I can get you in something, but it's still mathematically may not be talking about, you know, how, how much it is, okay. you know, how, how much you're going to give you, mm. you know, because the rate ain't standard. Everything in correlation, you know what I mean? Right. You know, you, you, uh, you, when you go, when you go, when you, let's say you got a 750 above credit score, that's when you start talking about everything under three percent. Mm -hmm. You know, real talk. You okay, know, okay. you ain't going to eight hundred score your ass negotiating that market. Mm -hmm. No, real talk. Right. I mean, that, now that's still talking about if the income and all that stuff. It's, together. it's just like the DTI is fine and stuff like that. That's it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I can honestly say, man, I did a lot of, you know, the, you know, the zero percent financing and all this one percent financing and stuff like that uh -huh. because of that. But if you got marginal credit or this, that, and that, well, they say, okay, we can get you in. That doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a favorable situation. I'm not saying it ain't, mm -hmm. but it's just something to keep in mind, mm -hmm. you know, because I give you something don't necessarily mean it's the best thing to do, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the thing we're doing there, right? That's just, that's just something to kind of keep in mind. Mm -hmm. But also I do want to say again that we got to be very careful what work for you and not work for the next person. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the kind of thing a lot of time we want to sit here and go over. That's why I don't want to get into, you know, hey, man, this is the way you can do it because... Then I go, I go out and try to buy my house. And then it's, I got eight percent rate, and I'm gonna be mad at you. Yeah, I do. Uh, <laughs> they uh, say hers was two point eight, two point eight seven percent. If you got two point, uh, I bet your credit score was higher than six four, six forty though. But I can't see nobody getting on two point eight seven right I now. Bet you, I no, bet no, your credit no, score no. was higher than six forty. Well, 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 no, 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 no. It, 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 it's possible to get it, but I, right now, right, all right. Uh, I'm not saying it's impossible, but I definitely doubt you can get two point anything right, anything under uh, 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 five right now. Mm. And that's stretching it. Mm. That's stretching it. I mean, cause the rate's going up. Right. Hey, that's lower than down uh, uh, Prime. Yeah, Prime is five. What's what the it? hell you get two? Okay, well, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Maybe they yeah, put the rate one. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? But like I say, right now, we're doing, that's why I say like, you know, with that, you know, that's why I say, you know, we know what Prime is. So you know where you're going, you gotta be higher than Prime. 2019, that's probably right then. Like yeah, I said again. Yeah, that's probably yeah. right. But he, you know, two point eight now, <laughs> prime five percent. Okay. You know, so you know, prime was 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 handed out by the Fed. So you know, your rate gonna be higher than that anyway. Okay. You know, so that's just you know, again, that's why I want everybody to kind of be savvy enough to understand the pros and cons with that. And that's why you had a conversation with the lender or with the broker. They kind of like, hey, listen, this is what's going on. This is what you know, what prime is right now. It's gonna be a little more than that, depending what the situation you're coming in, come to the table with. This will make the difference. But we know. You know, hey, listen, you know, I, I, I want folks to understand you have to have that open mind. What work for your brother may not work for you, okay. right? So we start doing, like I said, that math thing. I really, really want y'all to make sure that y'all take advantage of all the information that's accessible to you right now in regards to, you know, those mortgage calculators and things like the that. World is flat. Man, man, come on now. <laughs> do not, do not, do not wait for folks to call you and try to tell you shit. Right. Like, yeah, man, do this. And we just checked it out because at the end of the day, they may lie to you. Mm hmm. Hey, we can all can come back. I, I remember me and my ex wife when she was getting a call. Uh, shit, what about three years ago? Before, before we got right before we got divorced, and I remember the guy came. The, the agent came back. Well, look, I can give you this, and it was like uh, I think the card note was like four hundred seventy dollars. And you know my nerd ass, I done came in on my finance calculator. Right. I said, where you get that from? Well, this is what they gave me. I said, man, listen, I don't want to talk to you no damn more. Right. Look. This is what I do. Uh -huh. Let me talk to them. Because this shit, you bring me on the damn napkin. This ain't going to work. And so that's the thing I want folks to understand. Like, listen, 
take advantage of what's out there. What you about to say, Lance? No, go ahead. I'm listening. You know, and, the, and those things are everywhere. So make sure you try to get that math piece. Once we got the math, you, you're fine. You sat down and take, take some time. And listen, guys, do not let nobody rush you because they say, hey, you need to move on this because this is what's going on. Mm. When your home is closed and everything's over, you're stuck with it 15, 20, 30, 40 years. Everyone else keeps it moving. They got a commission, they gone. Don't you let nobody rush you to do some shit you're not comfortable with. Mm. Because it's not, you know what I'm saying? Right, don't, right, don't, right. Damn them. Damn them. That, you like that house. You like that house. You love that house. But you fall in love with another one. Just like you done deal with all your boyfriends and girlfriends right. and stuff. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. She fine. She fine us. She the fine ass here. Mm -hmm. And the first or the last time, you gonna find another one, okay? <laughs> so don't get so, so caught up in rush. it. Don't that day, rush. Don't rush. Don't rush. Take your time. Cause there you go. You been in this apartment this long. A little bit long ain't gonna hurt ain't you, gonna right? Ain't gonna kill a damn thing. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? Especially when you make an approach so big. Hey, rush so, move, bring right. rush results. That's right. all. Right. That's all. It, it, I didn't know. I didn't have nobody tell me. I didn't, hey, no more give a damn about that. You know, yeah. that nobody, nobody don't care what that. Especially when we start talking about this kind of investment mm -hmm. okay so don't let nobody rush you so again now we start saying okay look you know we done the math i'm comfortable with the numbers and stuff like that they came back now we start look making some offers mm -hmm. we can make some we can make some offers right mm -hmm. we can make the offer to, uh, to do it look do not do not be afraid to lowball don't be damn afraid to lowball they can only say one thing yay or nay right that's all they can say yay or nay Lady Lane Love said, can you walk away from You can't walk away from it, can you? Can't walk away from what? The the deal, I guess, you're trying to make with the house. You got, what, what is it? Is, is, uh, I know the state of Georgia, what is it like? You got uh, seven days? No, oh, okay. Seven days, you ain't comfortable with the whole thing, you can walk away? Okay. It's a seven-day window from, okay, from, okay. From, from the moment of closing. But after that seventh day? That's it. Okay. That's it. So you got seven days to do it. Okay. Uh, 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 to walk away, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Well, they said he's kind of low. What is uh, low? Who is he? Who is he? You kind of low. Talking that mic a little bit, I guess. Oh, shit, I'm running. <laughs> How about this? Me, 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 me. <laughs> that better. That's better. But, but, but you know that, that that's one thing I want people to understand. Like you, you, you have to make sure that you comfortable with it. Hey, a low ball, low ball. They want one one fifty for the house. Hey, one thirty five, one forty. They come back with a counter, they may say, hell no, they may come with a counter, right? Mm -hmm. Now, you know if it's a new home, or if you know it's in an area that's gaining a lot of traction, it probably won't work. You know, depending on how long it is, uh, uh, how long the process it went, you know, that, that, that may vary, you mm -hmm. know, with doing it. But don't be afraid to just, hey, let me just throw it out there, mm -hmm. right? Um, don't, don't be afraid to feel like, okay, like I'm insulting them. Okay. They're trying to sell their house. Right. They're trying to sell that. And, and, and just so you know, the other side of it, is I'm always going to ask for more than I think I can get mm. as a seller. Right. I say again, the seller is going to ask for more than they think they can get. Mm -hmm. So if I believe that the house can sell for 150000 I'm going to ask, I'm going to sell my house for what? List it for 175 mm -hmm. Right? Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. That way, you know, you, you feel like you talked me down, you got over, and then you come at me right there where I think I'm at. Right, mm -hmm. so you un understand that aspect good. <laughs> Nobody's gonna ask for it. You know what I'm saying? Right. What you know, just is. like you got a car. You know, my car. I'm selling my car for for five thousand dollars. Right. Mm -hmm. I know it's worth forty five. You feel like okay? You know, you went back and forth. Man, I'm gonna give you forty three hundred. Mm -hmm. I know, you know, or forty five, or whatever. Man, you just feel like you don't want a Superman. Dude, one five. I talked his ass down, or whatever, like that. Mm -hmm. I knew what the hell it was worth lower than that anyway. I just want, you know. We right there, everybody won. You got what you wanted, I got what I wanted. You know, keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, everybody happy. There you go. And that happens all the time, man. That happens all the time. So then can you mention, you know, I put down five hundred earnest money, go higher. How much earnest money would you put down? Just in general, just if Mr. Short Dollar was buying a house, how much earnest money would he put down? It just varies. I couldn't say how much it'll be. It just mm -hmm. varies on what the deal is, or what, you know, how much you want, or what you what, just say they even require, okay. or what they require to do. That it just varies. Okay. I can you know, uh, 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 we're doing it. Cause at the end of the day, we gotta be realistic too. Uh, like, like uh, I'm saying low ball, but on the flip side of it is too. We start talking about entering in the contract. Cause at the end, if you gonna sit here and tell me, that listen, okay, you know. Already, you're coming in lower than what I asked for, mm -hmm. and you start talking about some stupid stuff. Look, I ain't even gonna talk to you. Right. You know, it, it, it's just like 
How the hell have you sold a car before somebody trying to negotiate with you without no damn money? And they pull up your yard, hey man, you selling that car? And they start wanting to, you know, throw out prices. Well, look, bro, when you want to get it? Mm -hmm. Well, I probably better get it, you know, I'm looking probably buy it for the next month or so. Hey, get the hell out of my yard. Come see me when you got some damn money. Mm -hmm. Even negotiate, you ain't got no damn money. <laughs> That's the key. You know, you, right. but you understand what I'm saying? Right. So we got to be mindful too, like, you know, okay, cool, because the earnest money, I mean, I'm, I'm putting the earnest money down because I'm looking, you know, I'm going to make this move on this house too, mm -hmm. right? So again, you know, it's not necessarily you got to get, you know, put, you know, 30, 40 percent down on it and everything like that too. But I, I wouldn't get caught into. To me, that would be kind of like weeds. We're doing it if I'm finna make a move on it. Mm -hmm. If you don't agree on the price, and we cool on it and everything, I don't threw this number out. You cool, and I put a number that. But I'm, you know, I, I don't. I, I think both parties will be on the side of logic. Right. Uh, we're, we're doing it. It ain't gonna be no. You know, I don't think. You know, I think. You know. You know. I don't. I, I can't see nobody throwing in like you no know, thousands of dollars. To see and then we we know that it's a fair number we can go from there. Okay. Because right at that point we we, we looking to move. Mm -hmm. We looking to move and uh, we, we're doing it. What you about to ask me later? I'm about to ask you another question. That's moving on from the loan process. Uh, when when you when you buy a house, do you think you should put? I'm, this is just my question. This is just a question I want to ask. Because some people do it, some people don't. And I want to know if you was buying it, would you put the insurance and the taxes in your mortgage rate, in your mortgage, like your mortgage payment? Uh, I normally do, but again, it just depends on if you want, if you don't want to have it in there, you know, from that point, you just got to sit there and say, am I going to be disciplined enough to escrow it myself? Mm -hmm. I think 80% 80 of the world is not disciplined. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, you know, are you going to be savvy enough to be, you know, Rolling two, three hundred dollars to the side each month mm -hmm. to put in the escrow account to do that. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna have that money available to do it? If you're not gonna be able to do it, don't go on that. Don't go down that trip. Yeah, because you know you, the mortgage should be lower if you don't. You know, you, the mortgage should be lower. But I just thought it was a smart move when Rika did it because I I hadn't thought of it, but when she did it, I was like, that, that's because you don't have to think about. it. I mean, it goes up and down depending on uh -huh. you know the taxes and stuff like that, and the, yeah. the insurance is gonna go up. But on, on the all in all, it's something you don't have to worry about because you're already paying for it. Yeah, but, and I just but, I just want to know what your opinion was on that. I I, I do it, but see the thing is, uh, 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 if you know that you, you're gonna be on top of it, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. But if you know you're not one of the people to do that, I that, that you know because it, it's not a right or wrong. It's a you. It's a you. It's a question for you because mm -hmm. if you know you're gonna have the money, or if you if you're either gonna have it at one at one time to pay it, or you know you can allocate it, fine. But if you know you ain't gonna be able to do that, and I think majority of people not disciplined, then we see that with how we do, you know, our day. we have to work. Things that we don't have, things we supposed to do, mm. things we have to do, we handle them different. Mm. The things we supposed to do, we'll get to it when we get to it. That's when we have problems. So I, I think it's more of you need to assess yourself mm. before you say, okay, look, see, I have some kind of escrow account, we're doing that or not. Because you know you're not the type of person to do that. I wouldn't get, in, I wouldn't go down that road. Okay. Yeah, ain't no okay. way in the hell I do that. No way in the hell. I just wanted to ask. I just. I, no, that's a good question. It's just a general question. That's a good question. That's a, that, 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 that's a good question. Well, uh, no, lady, let's say the, the, every two years the right taxes, insurance change. No, it can change. It can change every year. Mm -hmm. It can change every year. And what happens a lot of times? You know, we're talking about an escrow amount. What happens is. Yo, uh, when you when you close, they're going to, and they're looking at if you're going to have an escrow, and that's just like a a secondary account where they're holding the actual property taxes and insurance. What Lab is asking, and what's called an escrow account, it's like a side saving account. We're doing that, and the mortgage company will 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 take a, a portion. They they have the principal, uh, which is going to the 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 home, the the purchase of the home, the interest, which is the cost that you're paying to have that loan. And then you have the different insurances that will that be associated with it, and that might be uh, your home insurance or the property taxes, what you're paying the particular county or municipality for, you know, having your, your property there. Uh, escrow account a whole, you know, typically that insurance and that property taxes in that account. And again, if the property taxes raise up each year, we all get that letter from a particular county that we in. If the property value increases, so will the property taxes. Mm, and if you okay. if they have if your mortgage company has allocated more than what the property tax insurance is, uh, you will get a refund check back from your mortgage company. Mm -hmm. If your mortgage company uh, mortgage company has allocated less into the escrow account, you have a deficit. Mm -hmm. 
and then you'll get a letter from the mortgage company. They say, look, do you want to pay the difference of that deficit or your rent, or your, I'm sorry, your mortgage will increase. Mm -hmm. You had that decision with doing it. That's, you know, again, that's, you, you have to uh, get aside from that. I would give a lot of thought to this because, you know, I think that was a good question you asked that lab, but only because um, I think people need to spend a little time thinking about that. You know what I'm saying? In regards to, hey, listen, this is something that uh, we want to make sure that we're doing. What's that I wish for the county to get their mess together? Uh, you're going to be wishing for a while. <laughs> They, they ain't going to get together. Nah, hell no. Nah. And what's that on? What's they, what they mess on? Property taxes? Uh, property taxes. Uh, I know they said that Atlanta, I was in the city of Atlanta, I got, they got uh, property tax and, uh, what that, solid waste. Oh, okay. So solid just, waste bill, you know. just bill you know, just messed up with that. I, I mean, it's just, you know, again, I, I mean, you know, it, it, the price, the price for it is you just got your cousins down there working. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. Hang on. Okay. Okay. Oh, you call them. <sighs> right. Who this mother? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe call Florida County Private Tax. Hey, wow. Uh -huh. You know, listen, ma'am, I, I want to talk. <sighs> <laughs> sir, what's your address, sir? <laughs> Goddamn. Boom, Sheikah. Auntie, yeah. Auntie, uh, Auntie Sarah. Auntie Sarah down there. <laughs> Been yeah. there for 30 years. Yeah. <laughs> now, all the, retired, all the retired dancers from the Blue Flame. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. All retired dance for the flu plane. <laughs> they done went to Massey Billy College and learned how to t uh, type. And now they're working out. <laughs> <laughs> they went to the Massey Billy College. Yeah. Now they ain't going to the Massey Billy College. They went to that little uh, business college by six months. <laughs> Shit, and learn how to uh, type. Cut the computer on and type and print. Do all that. So you said their customer service is terrible. Oh, man. <laughs> Shit. Man. And that's everywhere. Food, Clayton, the cab, all of them. I, I, yeah, the cab. Man. Because uh, uh, Rico came here and said he got a water bill. It was like $4,000. Mm -hmm. They was like, you ain't got to pay it. And then two months later, they was like, you need to pay that $4,000. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you, shit, I got that damn bill in Atlanta. The city of Atlanta, don't, they said they don't cut your water off. Oh, okay. So it accrues. So it just keeps going. And so, you know, we're, we're doing that. I had to change that because I used to have the tenants pay the water bill. Mm. But the damn tenants weren't paying it. They were leaving that on the property. Mm. So I started getting the water. Then, you know, all this damn COVID stuff. Man, it's all kind of BS going. Mm. Then when you call these folks trying to have a conversation, <laughs> that's a whole nother show. <laughs> that's a whole nother show. Say that for they don't have time. these girls go through these damn programs. <laughs> these girls that went out there, man. Hi, y'all. <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> they just, And they put you on hold yeah. forever. And they, no, they sitting there talking. Girl, yeah, yeah, I'm going tonight. I'm going tonight. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, hello. <laughs> yes, mother. Shit. Here we go. I don't think they got to do it. People that sit up Atlanta just call, just do some ghost calling. Uh -huh. Man, it's horrible, man. <laughs> horrible. <laughs> horrible. That's what the mail needed damn started. Right. The damn customer service. It might so, work. It man, might. that shit, it, it, it's everywhere, man. Clayton County, same damn way. What y'all want? <laughs> shit. Hoorah, hoorah, hoot the mama. <laughs> All of them in there, man. Uh. I'm like, oh, shit, go gorilla. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so look, we done, let me get back on track. So we don't put them offers out for the crib and everything, uh, uh, for what we're looking to do. The offers out there, hey, we, you know, may put earnest money and they ready to go. Boom, we we through the process. Man, okay, now we you know got to go through the whole inspection. You know, find out. You know, from that point, we, you know, keep in mind, we uh, once the inspection uh, is, is done, now we can sit here and say, well, hey, look, the house may have this, house may have that. We can uh, can have some kind of negotiation from now. Mm -hmm. Listen, don't let love make you blind. Mm -hmm. If you know it's going to be some things in our house, you can get some kind of what we call seller concessions. The seller concessions are pretty much things that you can have the seller you know, reduce the house or reduce the price or give you a cash reimbursement. Because you may just say, what they may say, well, listen, we'll sell you the house, but if you go get some invoices from you know a painter that's going to redo this, could they? Because if I'm selling this house and I'm, I got it, I'm selling to you for $150,000, the inspector come through and find some things with it. Not necessarily, you know, things that's going to get the loan, but it may be cosmetic stuff. Mm -hmm. You may say, well, look, I need some seller concessions. So you might have a painter go over there and say, listen, we're going to charge you $800 to paint the kitchen, or we may charge, you know, plumber, not plumber, but just some things cosmetic. They, they put some new windows in. 
you may say, look, well, I already got this, you know, uh, to do that. They may give you up to $5,000 in sales concessions. They can reduce the price or they reimburse you. You, you prevent to provide those invoices. Mm -hmm. They'll cut you a check at closing to do that. I've done that before where I've got them uh, on both sides. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Where you like, okay, cool. You know, this is what you're getting back. You know, you, you're the purchaser. They gave you this amount of money. You can go do that. And from that point, you know, you just, you got the money. You can go get those things done. But those things you can kind of look at once you got the, the inspection done. So now we start looking at the other side. You know, you know, uh, you closing. Make sure you got somebody to experience with you if you haven't been there before. Mm. Because, you know, you got a clothing attorney. Well, this is that. They laying on all these damn big-ass booklet of papers. Sign this, sign this, sign right here, sign right here, sign right there. Even if they tell you what the hell it is, you still don't know what the hell it is. Right. You know, you don't know Arabic if you're not Arabic. You don't know French if you ain't French. <laughs> <laughs> and so they put all these damn papers. Well, this just for that. This for, okay, okay. Uh, and they just pushing it in your face. And then yeah, yeah, you know, then you know your dumb ass sitting there looking at it like you really know what the hell you're reading. <laughs> All that you see at the bottom is your name. <laughs> she do say my name. With that little tab yeah, that yeah, say yeah, sign yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, she, well, she do say my name, right? Okay. But so that's why it's so important. So if they have some kind of you know agreement, some kind of whatever, you got somebody beside you say hold on, and they like you know you looking at it, you hand it down. Then you go through that process one, two more times. You know you're more comfortable with doing it. But you at least got somebody with you mm -hmm. that just, you know, you can slide, man, what is that? Slide that paper over to them and say, well, listen, man, you know, what you think or whatever, they can do that, okay? Remember, this is a big damn commitment. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I didn't mean to, they lied, would not fix, fix it. it. There's no excuse for ignorance. They lying love, say they practice that. Hmm? They practice that, <laughs> pushing that paper huh? in front of you. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. You know, they go here, sign right here, sign. They, they just going, look, they going through the damn paper like this. <laughs> sign right there. Look at this. Like, you need right, to get the right, top you on. You ain't going to read to me? Yeah, what the hell that is? You know what I'm saying? Right, right. And they look at that, they clock like, shit, we got to close in another close in 30 minutes. We got to get up out of here. Uh-huh. Oh, hell? I got to know what the hell <laughs> going on. Right. Because we say again, if we don't close this right, well, hey, if we don't close this right, uh, 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 you ain't going to get paid either. Uh-huh. Everybody, hey. Everybody's getting paid contingent to this deal going through. Mm -hmm. All the person that guaranteed and got paid was what the uh, uh, product inspectors and uh, 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 what's the, the appraisers, mm -hmm. you know, because they done did a task. Right. But everything else, you know, for the most part, contingent the damn loan going through, mm -hmm. right? Right. So look, man, take your time to let nobody damn rush you in and try to have somebody, if you not have somebody experience with you, to have you look through everything, right? So we want to make sure we're doing that. Do not be naive. Mm. I can't stress it enough. There's not no excuse for ignorance. Mm. You know, so you got everything done. You got it going and stuff like that. Uh, and you close. You happy. Like I said, now we're on social media. They got a picture of us holding our key and everything <laughs> and the stuff. And it's good. It's good. Congratulations. Right. Here's the deal, too. There's some, there's some things we start talking about that first home. Guys, listen. I know how it is to be in your first crib and, and be proud of yourself. Don't be breaking your damn neck to have no housewoman party. Don't be breaking your neck to, to now go max out all these damn cars that rooms to go to put furniture in there. If you got to walk around and say, hello, hello, hello. It's hello. still yours. Because it's empty as hell. It's yours. Right. <laughs> you know you're going to be in the damn house 15, 20 years. Right. I ain't that wrong with the shit being empty for a little while or you're doing it piece by piece. Why? Because it's your crib. You can take your time. I've seen so many times people that went through closing they breaking their neck to furnish it. They already have furniture from the old house, but this is new. So we got to put new stuff in there. And now they maxing all these damn cars out. And you're like, damn, man, you know, like, damn, you know, they, they, they can't even enjoy the new house because they'll put themselves in a hole trying to just furnish it. Mm. Take your time. Take your time. You about to say something? Yeah. Uh, blind lady love, you decided not to be a realtor. You said one time you wanted to be one. You decided not to. We could tell you wanted to be one. You had a lot. Of, you had a lot of information too. So, I, I think I think being a realtor is cool. If you you know, I you had, had a realtor's license. Yeah. Me and my ex wife had a realtor's license and a broker's license. We didn't do nothing with it, but we had it. I, I, I think you really got to have a lot of hustle bustle with that because again, what I, the the initial phase is just, oh, uh, you got so many people that are uh, uh, so iffy in regards to what they want to do. We're doing it. That's why I say, you know, a skilled realtor is going to do a couple of vet questions to see you already pre Because they ain't got time to waste. Right. You know, somebody's new, they may sit there and drive you around and then do that. And you can't do it. You know, it's you, you got to have a system as a hustle bustle. 
uh, uh, with doing it. And, you know, be, I think that's one of them fields. If you can go through them first two or three years and get your scars, you'd be okay. Be okay. Because you don't got your system and everything together. But, again, once you get that crib, you know, take your time. My lady said it took her, you know, pop the, uh, pat them boxes. And that's the thing about it. It's your crib. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Don't be such a rush to sit here and now it's time to do this and do that and all that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. put yourself in any challenge financial position mm -hmm. because, hey, I want to show everybody my new crib. Again, right. tonight's show we're talking about how to purchase your first home. Uh, but definitely, guys, I'm telling you, you know, take your time. And most importantly, guys, you know, listen, this is the most important part. Enjoy your crib. Right. You earn it. It's yours. Yeah, enjoy it. Enjoy it and feel good about it. And mm -hmm. I think if you kind of look at the steps we were talking about, because mathematically, again, you know, pretty much, you know, from the negotiating and cost and all this other kind of stuff, that's cool. But, again, the math going to be the math. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of the day, 150 at 3% or a 20-year mortgage, plug and play the the insurance or property taxes, the number going to be the number. Right. Right? Ain't gonna be no it's going to be, a, you know, a 30-year, 40-year, 20-year. That's the only thing going to change. But the number going to be the number at the rate and the pro All that just plug and play. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you can negotiate uh, a decent price, whatever rate they're going to give you, you know what I'm saying, if you want to purchase more towards the rates, mathematically, you got to sit there and say if that going to work for you, doing it, uh, just doing that. But once you start plugging in and getting, the air, you're getting those numbers, it is what it is, right? That's right. Shit ain't no way around it. And I just think people just take the time. Take your time. Don't force it. Don't force it. And if you came in, I want to tell you guys, again, we talked about tonight, how to purchase your first home. If you came in later into the show, uh, make sure you go to Mr. Short Doll on YouTube and just check out his video. Again, how to purchase your first home. You know, we're doing it. Again, you're going to see tons of videos. Go to the bank and, you know, you can get approved for this. Let me tell you something. Y'all listen to these damn people telling y'all to go, take your ass in this bank and, and get this 50, 40, 50 thousand dollar loan with your credit score. They're going to laugh your ass right out the bank. Mm. Man, have a conversation with people, find out what they can and can't do, and talk to several different people. Right. You know, I'm, you, you really, uh, you have to be in a certain position, and that's usually going to come with, with experience and knowing certain things where you can, you know, be savvy enough to go in and, and, and know what you, you know, going to have. They said, don't forget to mention down payment assistance programs. You don't have them up front. Yeah, that, that, that's a good point. Uh, there are a lot of down payment assistance programs with, uh, that are available to you for first-time home buyers, especially with doing that. Key caveat I want you guys to know, when you have down payment assistance programs, if you have a down payment assistance program, you, can, you cannot rent those homes out. If they find out that you, you want to go get you another home or, you wanna, uh, or they find out that you, know, you want to do another purchase, they will, because you live what it is, they'll put a lien on the house for the down payment. They'll oh, put a lien okay. on the house uh, with doing it. Mm. Uh, and, and if you if, if, if it's done, uh, uh, they'll ask for that stuff uh, uh, to be reimbursed. I just remember they had more crystal house. Oh, okay. How the hell they found out we went and got another damn house. <laughs> I have no, <laughs> no damn idea. idea. No idea. <laughs> but you just understand that you are not supposed to rent those houses out. Okay. Or with doing it and you look, you know, they find out it's going to be a problem, but definitely you want to make another purchase or refinance it you got to, you know, uh, cover that, you know, cover that, but definitely you would get another home, purchase another home. That stuff need to be paid. And, and typically if you can refinance it and they'll cover it with doing it. But that's one of the funky things because we had to, it's funny that's coming up because we bought another home that we got a letter from the other house and they were asking about that down payment assistant. Uh -huh. We had to end up refinancing uh, the, first uh, the first house uh -huh. to, uh, to encompass that because it was like, listen, y'all got so many days to get so that. To, to get this situation, y'all uh -huh. bought another damn house. We gave you that. Because typically, I say you may have to live in us X amount of years uh -huh. before you can purchase a new home or refinance. So uh -huh. You know what it is, the attachment. So be mindful of that, you know. Five years tops. Ah, uh, no, nah, it was longer than that. I mean, that may, well, listen, that may vary from place to place with a five year top mm -hmm. because. No, nah, it, 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 was, it was longer than that. I think that was, uh, uh, she was at a 10. Okay. And, it may, and it's for pro and, and, and keep in mind, again, that's from program to program. Okay. That's not. The, I don't want to halt nobody from not getting any kind of down payment assistance. But make sure that you know what the terms so, are. Okay. We're doing that. Read that you know? fine. Yeah, point. yeah, we're, we're doing it because there's nothing wrong with getting it. But just understand, make sure you know the whole process. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, we can get into that, okay? Well, listen, y'all, man. We, you know, I hope we, we, you know, gave out some good information. You guys we had some great conversation. Uh, 
line lady love too i appreciate you know all oh, what you're tuning in you really helped the show with uh with all your insight that you gave and uh with everybody else you know with tuning in and stuff i appreciate you tuning in again guys listen we try to get them twenty five thousand subscribers that's right we try to get them twenty five thousand subscribers so i need all you guys to have if you have not go to mr short dollar on youtube subscribe to the channel again if you came in at any part of this show you missed some parts listen man you know that I, I want you guys to make sure you know you uh, uh, go back to YouTube button. channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to get a notification. Hit that time. notification. Yeah, tons of information. We got everything segregated for you. If it's for finance, if it's for grants, if it's for business, entrepreneurship, personal finance, all those everything segregated in playlists. All the shows, everything segregated. So you just got to go through and and, and, uh, and and lose yourself. But you can even go into the to the YouTube channel on the search bar for the YouTube channel on the YouTube channel and if you want to look up a uh, mortgage or whatever you'll see several videos you know pop up and everything so you don't have to get lost with that you know with doing it but I do want to tell everybody man from the bottom of my heart I appreciate y'all tuning in and stuff like that got a busy weekend ahead of me and everything and I'm glad you guys are you know you know uh, uh, being safe and everything and again you know my those will go out to the Ricky Glass and his family man uh, and, and, and guys, listen, man, don't don't miss the opportunity to tell folks, you know, or check on your friends or tell them you care about them and everything like that. Don't miss no opportunity to do that, guys, okay? That's right. All right. Be safe out there, y'all. Love y'all. Take care. And talk with you soon.